What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Infinite Magic Raid, and today we're gonna have a little bit of a rant, but we're gonna do it in a very constructive manner that we can pass this feedback actually along to, you know, the community managers, the developers at DH Games to hopefully make our game better. Now, number one, we're not really gonna touch on the pay to win aspect of it. I feel like that's a completely separate topic. What I'm gonna talk about is in-game things that would help us on a daily basis to just grind stuff out to make the game not as tedious at times because i mean out of all the games i've played this is kind of like in the middle ground it's definitely not the fastest dailies i've ever done like idle heroes it's definitely not the slowest like uh, afk arena and mobile legends adventure those games have been like the longest grind i've ever seen just to do your daily tasks this one's kind of in the middle but there are some ways i think to really make this better so i'm going to go over the five things i think the game should change and i need you guys to leave a comment down below definitely hit that thumbs up button if you guys agree heck even if you disagree and leave a comment down below hit that thumbs up still just so that we can get people seeing this video and then we can pass on some information on to the developers because they actually do listen quite a bit they did throughout the beta they kept making the game better and better so hopefully we can continue that and then We'll also have that talk some other time about how pay to win versus free to play is playing in the game. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Hit that subscribe button, that like button. Let's get going. Number one on the list is probably something, I don't know if everybody kind of has an issue with it, but I definitely do. And that is going to be the dispatch quest system. Uh, the I don't know why there is not a dispatch all button or claim all button on here somewhere. Uh, every other one of TH Games' games that I've played has actually had a feature similar to this. Maybe not at the very beginning, but they eventually introduce it. Some way to just claim all of our complete ones and then auto dispatch all of our current ones that are open. Uh, it's just kind of crazy that like, a game nowadays doesn't have something like this because to be honest it's pretty tedious click one two three four five six seven eight nine ten dispatch one dispatch two dispatch three it's like it's literally a minute of your time just doing this and you need to do it multiple times a day because of these timers and you have a max total of 30 quests you can complete a day so dispatch number one tedious thing that would it's just something stupid that it shouldn't need to be here and it should limit the amount of button pushes that you actually have Next on the list is going to be a better way to level up your heroes because it seems like no matter what the game mode you're in, like you're always lacking XP and you just don't get any great XP. Even in like, I would even be fine if it was something crazy like in here, getting the rewards would be great. I mean, the one nice thing is you can get luxury EXP potions from hell. Uh, but like, even if you're in the lower tiers, I think, I think that actually changes what you can get in the lower tiers, right? Yeah. It's the lower tier. There needs to be more ways to get the premium EXP potions that are usually tied to like here, these premium ones. I feel like we definitely need more of because I mean, it's probably more of a spender problem or someone who even just does some spending, not even whaling. It's just so hard to get your heroes up to max level. You might be able to build an A5 hero, but then it's like, oh, yeah, they're just they're just sitting at level 100 forever. Another way, even if it's a game mode that we can specifically grind that is literally just amazing for experience. Now, this one on the list is probably going to be one of my most pain in the butt things ever. I can understand in a game like this that is revolving around a stamina system. This stamina right here not having a skip button because they they kind of need you to invest your time since it's an energy based system uh they do give ways to skip battles of course with the or not even skip but just have the computer do it for you but what i need is an actual skip button i think any game mode who does not use who uses an alternative stamina system should have a smash button this one right here being one of the biggest culprits like i literally i literally do not do advanced arena i mean you can see my rank i've done like a few fights here and there i don't do it because it's so time consuming every single day and on top of that the arena store rewards really are not that great like oakman's cool and all you can get a great copy down there but at the same time it's going to take months to even get that much currency you're probably better off going for like you know 
ores and ingots or just dragon eggs to like speed up the progress it's just not that great and it sucks that it's tied to advanced arena when there's no skip battle i do think also it should be included in classic arena too i don't think you should be forced to watch every single battle that you do when it's not tied to your stamina system it also carries over to other game modes i don't think you should have to watch it in tower of mark because well tower of mark again is a separate system where you can't even buy additional attempts another one should be guild boss now you can buy additional ones in guild boss but again you just shouldn't have to use it in there and i think even faction abyss yeah faction abyss this one could be a little different i don't know because you can purchase faction tokens but uh i don't know i think any game mode that is not using stamina absolutely needs a skip battle button Speaking of game modes that have stamina and not stamina, I do feel like the stamina system for purchasing could be a little better. I know a lot of other games, it's literally like 100 diamonds will refresh your entirety, so it would give you up to 920 stamina. I do think this game is a little bit too punishing with the amount of stamina you get per 100. 200 just feels so low. Maybe if it was like five or 600, that or even 500 would be like a good compromise. Uh, but I feel like 100 diamonds for 200 stamina is just way too low. And also game modes like Mystic Hunt, like yes, you can actually un you can find stamina under here in game modes. But so much of these game modes like this don't give you any rewards like that that it feels kind of bad. Yes, the other part is you can get it in events like this that hand out maybe like the, the skip battle stamina, but it's very hard to come by regular stamina, even when we're talking about events and things like that. So stamina could definitely use a boost. That's number four on the list. Lastly is gonna be uh, touching on what we just talked about events 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 this is probably one of the worst events we've had for any type of free to play or even spenders like this one is just such a bad event with rewards they really need a bunch then this kind of touches a little bit on that pay to win to free to play type aspect of it but even as a spender only getting up like i think i, I bought like two packs and we're still only going to get to like 14 or 15 this event uh, they're locking the legend heroes way too far down or up the list if anything maybe at least give some of the newer epic heroes somewhere like around eight or nine or something like that on top of the epic phantomize uh it would be great this game mode was probably one of the worst ones we've had so far it's hard to say there are some good ones like these like challenge growling or whatever where yes you're not going to get the top of the rankings but you could probably farm your way to some additional mythic shards which is a nice little bonus especially for free to play players these events are good i like these the big events i don't like the ice skating i don't like a lot of them they're just too punishing uh even as a mid spender like you gotta wail on it otherwise it's just not an event for use and that's why number five are the events we could definitely use a pick me up when it comes to those so let me know what you guys think. Should we have added other stuff to the list? Do you agree or disagree with some of the stuff? Is there actually a better way of farming experience? And I'm just not seeing it right now. Leave a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed it. We're going to constantly try to help and make this game better because uh, in case you guys didn't know behind the scenes, I complain to the developers and community managers of all the games I play a ton privately on Discord. I'll try to maybe post a couple more constructive versions as videos to at least get awareness out there. But you're rarely going to see me just straight up complain about stuff. I always try to be positive and try to find the or just state the facts. Just this is the event. Here's what you can get. You decide. So let me know what you guys think. Hit that thumbs up button. Let's make sure people see this video and I'll see you guys next time.